Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty good one, pretty crazy one. Before I jump into it, this is the last time I'm going to plug this, but I just want to say, please, if you have Spotify, go follow me on Spotify. I have a new song dropping in a week, and following me will notify you when it's out, and it'll just notify you for future things. And it just helps me as an independent artist, so I'd really appreciate it. And if you do follow me, make sure you tweet me on Twitter or tag me on Instagram that you did. I'm going to be trying to follow back as many people as I can tonight. Anyway, I'll leave my link to my Spotify in the description. And also, if you're watching this video within the first few hours of it going up, I'll most likely be live on Twitch. I'm going live right after this video goes up. I'm going to be streaming some Among Us for a while. So if you want to check that out after you watch this video, I'll leave my Twitch in the description as well. But anyway, on to the story time, okay? This story time takes place in 2018. This story is about the time that a crazy old lady tried to steal my dog. Yes. You heard that correctly. So this story time takes place in the summer of 2018, okay? I just bought my two Shiba Inu puppies. They're really cute. I'll put a photo of them on the screen. They're great. If you ever want to see them frequently, follow their Instagram in the description below. I think I've plugged the most in this video more than I ever have, ever. Anyway, so yeah, those are my dogs. They're cute. Anyway, I just bought them. They were puppies. They were very small because, you know... Puppies are small. So the first month of having them wasn't too bad. I was taking care of them pretty well. And during this time, I was living in an apartment building. And I was one of the youngest people living there. So a lot of my neighbors were older. And a lot of them also owned dogs. And the dogs were way bigger than mine. So I had to be careful when I would take them for walks. Because sometimes dogs would try and get them. So anyway, one day I take both of my dogs out for a walk around the apartment complex. And we go like three times around the whole complex just doing laps. And this one lady passes by who I've seen a few times while I was living there. And she was probably about 70 years old. And she had this really round pug, okay? He was a big boy, all right? And every time we'd pass by, it would try and bite my dogs. And they were pretty small, so, you know, I was trying to be careful every time I'd pass by because I didn't want my dogs getting hurt. And it was usually a really simple interaction. We'd walk by, her dog would bark at mine, mine would bark back, and we would both walk our separate ways and wave hello and goodbye to each other or say it. It was never really anything too complex. But this time was a little bit different, okay? So this time, me and her are passing each other like usual, and her dog starts barking at mine, and then mine start barking back, and we pull the leashes so they're far apart from each other. And at this point, we would usually walk our separate directions and wave goodbye, but it went a little bit differently this time. She stopped, and she was like, Hey, do you live here? And I have seen her a bunch of times, but it's okay, maybe she didn't see me. And I was like, yeah, I pass by you sometimes in the hallways, like, how are you doing? And she was like, oh, great, what's your name? I'm like, my name's Austin, what's yours? And she's like, oh, my name's Elsa. Now, her name wasn't actually Elsa, I'm just giving her a pretend name in this story time, so I don't give out her real name. But Elsa is pretty similar to the name she said. And I'm like, oh, nice to meet you, Elsa. And she was like, nice to meet you too, your dogs are so cute. I'm like, thank you so much. She's like, what breed are they? And I tell her, I'm like, they're Shiba Inus. And she was like, oh, I've heard of them. That sounds expensive. How much are they? And I told her, I'm like, well, I don't know what they always go for, but mine in specific were $1,200 per dog, but I got a deal on them since I bought two. I got them for $800 a piece, which is definitely a lot of money. But when you look at these two faces, like, it's priceless to me. I would pay double if I had to. And her face changed. She looked, like, really shocked and kind of like she just figured something out. And she was like, wow, that is really expensive, but they sure are cute. And I'm like, thank you so much. And she goes, well, anyway, have a great rest of your day. And she waves goodbye and turns around and her and her pug walk away into the distance back to the apartment entrance. And I thought that was the end of her, okay? I thought I'd pass her a few more times as I went for walks every day, but I didn't think we would speak much after this. But sadly, I was wrong because we would speak again and not in a good way, okay? So the next day came along and we had a dog park in my apartment complex that I would always take the dogs to to go to the bathroom and let them play with some of the friendlier dogs. And it was always just a fun time. I would just sit on the bench and go on my phone and let them run around or I would talk to the other residents there if there were people outside. And I would just kind of chill there and let the dogs do their thing in this nice fenced in area and I could just relax. But this time it was a little bit different, okay? I got up. I went to take them out to the dog park like usual, my normal routine, and I go out there and nobody's out there with me, which was kind of nice sometimes because I would bring my headphones and I could just pop my headphones in and listen to music and just kind of relax by myself. So that's what I did. I put my two dogs in the dog park, I closed the gate, I locked it, and I sat down on the bench next to the gate and just started listening to music and watching my dogs run around in circles and chase each other and be cute and just have a nice relaxing morning at the dog park. Then all of a sudden, from a distance, I see that old lady coming down from the other side of the parking lot to the dog park, but I realize something, something a little bit sketchy. She doesn't have her dog with her, 
which makes no sense. Like, why would she be coming to the dog park without her dog? Like, that just made no sense to me. I was thinking, like, okay, maybe she's coming down here to talk to me or ask me a question about my dogs, or maybe she's meeting somebody else here who has a dog. That's what I was assuming, but I had no clue. Anyway, she walks up to the gate where you let the dogs in, and then she looks at me, so I pop my headphone out and I wave to her, and she's like, hey, how are you? I'm like, good, how are you doing? And she was like, I'm doing great. I had a quick question. Do you mind if I hold one of your puppies? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I was thinking to myself, you know, it's just some old lady who thinks my dogs are cute. Like, of course she can hold them, no big deal. So she opens the gate, and I call my dogs over to her, and they go over there, and she starts petting them, and she picks up the smallest one, Benji, and she's like, oh, he's so cute. And she walks out of the dog park with him and shuts the gate, which I thought was a little bit weird because, you know, the dog park was completely fenced in, and if the dog slipped out of her hands, he could run away if they weren't in the dog park. But yeah, she brought him out of the dog park, and she shut the gate and locked my other dog back in the dog park, and she was just sitting there, like, holding him and petting him right next to me, and all of a sudden... Like a split second later, she gets up off the bench and starts running away with him. And I start laughing super hard because, you know, it's an old lady taking my dog and pretending to steal him. Like, of course that's funny, right? Like, I just thought she was making a joke, like a funny joke about stealing him because he was so cute. But then I realized she was running, like, really far. Like, she got real far away. And I was thinking to myself, like, okay, joke's over. Like, when's she gonna bring him back? But then when she got almost to the other side of the parking lot, I realized she's not joking. She's straight up stealing my dog right now. So I got up and ran full speed across that parking lot over to her. And I got over to her super quickly. Like, she didn't run fast at all. She was a lot older than I was, and I'm assuming she doesn't work out besides her daily walk. So her sprinting full speed was like equal to me walking kind of fast. So I ran up to her super quick. I grabbed my dog out of her hands, and I'm like, what are you doing? And she just says nothing. And I really thought she would like make up a lie or like try and play it off as a joke. But she just stood there silently like staring at me. And I was like, what are you doing? And she goes, nothing. I'm like, did you just try and steal my puppy from me? Like, I know where you live. We live in the same apartment complex. Like, why would you even try that? And she was like, just please don't tell the landlord about this. And she had like attitude, like anger in her voice at me. And I'm like, of course I'm telling the landlord about this. You just try to steal my dog on the property. Like, what? I'm thinking about calling the police while I'm at it. And she's like, okay, fine. And she turns around and walks inside the apartment building and goes to her apartment. So I take my dog back to the dog park. I grab my other dog. I put them on their leash. And I go back inside to my apartment. And I call the landlord immediately. And I'm like, hey, a resident just tried to steal my dog from me. And she's like, wait, what? Who? Who? And I tell her all about it. I explain to her who did it. And she told me on the phone that that lady gets complained about all the time. Like she causes problems a lot with the other residents. So after I told her what happened and we talked on the phone, she told me that the situation would be handled and she'd call me back in a couple days with an update. And a couple days went by. I didn't see her at the dog park anymore. I didn't see her on my walks. And I get a call from the landlord saying that she was being evicted in 30 days. And that seems pretty fair. Like if a resident is on an apartment complex property attempting to steal another resident's dog for whatever reason, I think it's a pretty good reason to evict them. But yeah, I don't know the exact reason why she did it. I'm assuming it's to make money because after I told her the price of my dogs, she looked at me like she just won a million dollars on a game show. Like she looked so excited and just so shocked. So anyway, she got evicted like a month later, and I saw her a few times before she got evicted, like I would pass by her and stuff, and she just wouldn't say a word to me, she wouldn't wave to me, I didn't wave to her, because you know, she tried to steal my dog. So yeah, in the end, she was gone, hopefully wherever she moved next, you know, she didn't steal anybody's dogs. But it's crazy, like, that's not the first time someone's tried to take my dog, I don't get it, like, I get they're cute, but like, do you have to steal them? Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the story time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace.